conference. It is entitled Bruins and Roses. And it is shaped like a football at the back, a large open book with the letters UCLA on it and Pac-10. Let's give a note to all the member schools. UCLA, USC, Stanford and Cal, Arizona and Arizona State, Washington and Washington State, Oregon and Oregon State. And the champions of that, the 9-1-1 one one Bruins of UCLA. Here's the solid goal sound of the UCLA Bruin marching band. What a day it is for these 250 young musicians dressed in their royal blue and gold. Right after this, they too are headed over for the Rose Bowl to watch their team go against the Michigan Wolverines. Here speaking for the Bruins of UCLA, their fine head coach, Terry Donahue. Thank you, Brian. I'd like to wish all of NBC's viewers a very happy new year. Having been to the Rose Bowl first as a UCLA player, then as an assistant coach, and now the head coach, I've got to tell you that there's no better place in the whole world to be on New Year's Day. And the Bruins are here to try to win. Terry hasn't lost much this year. I believe he has now completed his fifth season, and the 9-1-1 mark is his finest year. They only stubbed their toe once along the way. It should be a great ball game. Following the Bruins along Colorado Boulevard, a joyful salute to a brotherhood in arms immortalized by Alexander Dumas and the Three Musketeers. It's all for one and one for all. That's the title of the spirited float brought to us today by the Union Oil Company. It's a morning when the bad guys could be in for a lot of trouble because these swordsmen, well, they're huge. Our swordsmen have unsheathed their blades and they're ready for action. Back of the castle, the maiden fairs form a rooting section to spur their yeomen on to ever greater feats of courage. I don't think you'd like to be run askew one of those sabers, by the way, since they run about eight feet long. Actually trying to fight a duel with Richelieu's men using swords made of silver leaf and eucalyptus shows they're either the bravest or the craziest of them all. How big are those heads? Well, take a look. I tried to climb up there. Not a bad mustache. I mean, on the statue. Michael? They're all from Sunland, California, and they look terrific, don't they? The Nabisco family of fine products is proud to be a part 